What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're gonna have some fun with cloth works and see if we can make some hanging towel shapes in SketchUp. Before we get started, um, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials 50k subscriber sale. So um, this is basically a promotion that I'm running as a celebration for hitting 50,000 subscribers last week. So basically the way it works is if you purchase the SketchUp Essentials course before Friday of this week, um, I'm also going to do an in-depth model review for you. So you would up upload a model, then I would take a look at it and give you some suggestions for things that you can improve and work on in order to take your SketchUp workflow to the next level. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash 50k. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've done some tutorials in the past about how to work with cloth works, and today we're just going to kind of have some fun and uh, see what kind of, uh, basically, what kind of hanging towel shapes we can create um, or simulate using this extension. So you will need to use the pro version of this extension. You need to be able to add pins. So uh, I will link to a video where it shows where you can get that and also some basics of cloth works. But in order to do this, we're going to need a couple things. So to start off, we're going to draw a wall. So I'm just going to use the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a wall and I'm going to give it a little bit of thickness. That's not really going to affect what we're doing right here, but I want it to look a little bit like a wall. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, right click, and I'm going to make it a group. And when you have Clothworks installed, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this and you're going to make that a collider. So the reason you're making that a collider is because you don't want your towel to hang through the wall. And so now we're going to go in and we're going to draw our first towel. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and right click on it to reverse the faces. So we're going to start off and we're going to select this, right click, and we're going to make this a group. And so when we make this a group, what we want to do is we want to make this an object that's going to hang off of our wall. And uh, we want it to kind of fall like it's a piece of fabric. And in this case, we're going to have to come in here and subdivide it. Because right now, if I right click on this, go into Clothworks and make it a cloth, and then let's say I pin one of the corners and then I run Clothworks. What you're going to notice is this object hasn't been subdivided and so it's basically just hanging here as if it was a rigid rectangle. And so what we need to do is we need to subdivide this shape. And I'm going to have hidden geometry turned on so you can see it when I do this. But basically I'm just going to right click on this object. I'm going to go to Clothworks, Cloth, we're going to do a simple grid. And what the simple grid is going to do is that's going to subdivide this object. And in this case, I'm going to subdivide it on a two inch grid. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes to purge it of unused geometry. You can see how what this does is this uses a grid in order to basically break this up into different pieces of geometry. So now if we were to select this, remember that we have the corner pin, so it's going to act like it's hanging off of this corner. And if I click this play button, it's going to kind of hang down. And you can see I'm running into some issues with the wall and everything else. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click reset. And so now I want to do a couple different things. The first, first thing I want to do is I want to move this off the wall a little bit because the way it's interacting with the wall, even though the wall is a collider and the cloth is a cloth, for some reason the cloth goes into the wall a little bit. So I'm going to move this probably about, we'll call it 12 inches off the wall for right now. So that's the first thing. If I click play, then you can see how this is going to hang down a little bit and it's going to act more like a cloth. And one thing you're going to notice when you do this though is that your cloth is moving through itself. And we want to turn that off. So we're going to reset this. We're going to click on our cloth and we're going to activate the UI. What the UI allows us to do is affect the different things within Clothworks the way that cloth is going to act. Well, in this case, I'm going to click on the object option and I'm going to go down to the cloth options and turn on self collide. And so what self collide is going to do is it's going to make this basically act like it's running into itself so you don't get overlapping faces anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and click the play button. And you can see what this is going to do if you give it a little bit of time is it's actually going to hang like a cloth actually would. You can see how the cloth is actually bending now, but it's not overlapping on itself. You can see how this edge kind of runs into itself right here and uh, keeps it from overlapping. And so it looks a lot more realistic. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reset this. And so we saw that we were able to generate our cloth look. And I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the corner. You could kind of pin it to the middle and get a different look if you wanted to. But we're going to leave it as is for right now. I'll let you guys play around with that a little bit in the future. But the next thing I want to do is I want to apply a material to this cloth. So because I want this to look like a towel with uh, basically a design on it. And so in order to do that, I'm going to turn hidden geometry off. And I'm going to double click inside of this and I'm going to apply a material to it. And so when I apply a material to it, and note this needs to be applied to the raw faces, otherwise the mapping doesn't work. But now, if I run this again, you can see how Clothworks keeps this material mapped um, inside this group. So you can see how this looks a lot more like an actual towel. And one other thing to know is if you didn't come in here and do this directly on these faces, like if you apply this material to the outside of this group, your mapping is going to get all messed up. You can see how once this starts to bend, your material mapping doesn't look the way that it should anymore. So you need to make sure when you do this that you don't apply this to the outside of the group. You need to apply it to the faces on the inside of the group. And then the last trick is the way you put this against the wall. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to just jam this up against the wall because the cloth starts acting weird and you don't necessarily get the hanging that you want. So what I found works best is actually if you go ahead and let this simulate a little bit and you let the cloth kind of do its thing with the bending and everything else. So give it a second to let it kind of bend and adjust until it's kind of hanging straight down. And then once that happens, then we're going to pause our simulation. So we're going to pause our simulation right here. And then you're going to select your pin and your object and you're going to rotate it out just a little bit. So you're going to use the rotate tool and basically you're going to move this so now the pin is directly against the wall. And so when you do that, or close to against the wall, and then when you do that you can kind of finalize your simulation. So I'm going to move this over here. I want to make sure it's not really overlapping the wall. So I may you kind of have to fine tune it a little bit, but then once you've done that then you can finalize your simulation kind of like this. And you can see how now this hangs back and this interacts naturally with your wall. And so you can use this in order to basically generate multiple hanging towels. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this interesting to you? Have you used Clothworks for anything like this? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.